Welcome back to the BS Bourbon Channel. Today we're going to talk about Wollersham. Now, this is a special release from Wollersham. Who the hell is Wollersham? Wollersham is a distillery 25 minutes northwest of Madison, Wisconsin. And their winery, they have a full line of wines, and they're also a distillery. And this is a super special super limited release now this bottle actually drops on friday at noon this is a whiskey geeks whiskey this is this is so different let me tell you about this so this is a single barrel it's only available at the distillery it is a it's not a rye whiskey you can't call it that because legally rye whiskey has to be 51% rye and then aged in a new charred oak, American oak barrel. This is a whiskey that's made from a rye mash bill, 66% rye, 22% corn, 12% malted barley. But then it was aged entirely in red port barrels for six years and 85 days. Now they released, there was two barrels they did like this. They released one of them several years ago when it was two years old. And then this one, they waited until it was six years, 85 days. Now this is number eight of their special releases in their curiosity collection. And they call it Vintage Red Dress. So, Weird, right? I mean, so this is a whiskey completely aged in port. So this is kind of taking a page out of Scotch whiskey's maturation playbook. And and it's a really interesting things about this. So as you may or may not know, there's kind of a white oak shortage. Barrels are getting harder to source. So this is a pretty ingenious way to age whiskey not in new american oak and and as long as it turns out delicious i'm cool with it i'm cool with any whiskey as long as it's delicious so so way to go trying something different playing with some some stuff that's kind of outside the normal so this isn't a rye this isn't you know obviously not a bourbon this is just a whiskey it's not an american single malt it's just a whiskey made from rye mash aged in port. So <clears throat> I'm going to taste it, nose it, all that, review it. And I'm also going to compare it to two other port ryes, port finished ryes that I have in my collection. So it's going to highlight the difference because these were aged in that new charred new oak and then in port. This was in port for all six years, 85 days. So let's start with this and... And I don't care what Julian says, let's aggravate the whiskey. Let's aggravate it just a little bit. Now this is 45 proof. Oh, 45% alcohol, not 45 proof. 90 proof, 45% alcohol. Sometimes my brain goes Meh. Anyway. It smells like grapes. It smells has a little barnyard funk to it little little hay a little musty funkiness coming from that used port oh my gosh <sighs> like gold and honey oh man the rye is just in the background just chattering away not being rough or big or aggressive, just in the background, just yeah, 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 yeah. And you just know it's there. Oh, the grains show through so nice. And I actually, the, the grain that surprisingly shows through the most for me is like a really nice roasted corn note. And even though that's only 22% of the mash bill, that roasted corn note comes right through. Mmm, it's so fruity. 
Let's taste it. Oh. Syrupy, fruity, almost compote like. Then there's a little, there's a little, slightly brittle, sharp edge to the flavor profile. It goes sweet, fruity, viscous, very incredibly viscous. The legs in this glass are outrageous. And then there's that like little bit of a sharp edge. It's not like alcohol sharp. It's like the, the flavors have a roughness to them almost. That's a rye unlike any rye I've ever had before. And on the back end, into the finish, there's like a, it's like a cola, but it's got alcohol in it. And it's not, hmm. It's almost like, oddly enough, almost like a little bit, like, I'm stumbling on my words now. It, it's almost like a rum and coke way into the finish. There's this weird cola alcohol note. Like if you made a rum and coke with like four square, way into the finish. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's where the rough edge comes from. That's what's reminding me of it. Is sometimes some of those like extra aged rums, the really nice ones, have like a rough edge to the flavor profile for me. And I kind of get something similar here. Wow, that's crazy. Big old crocodile tears. It's so different. All right, let's compare. This one's Old Scout, which is MGP 95.5 uh, Rye, finished in port. And then we have Midwinners, Act 9, because Act 9 is better than 10. And it, of course, is also a blend of ryes, then finished. Those blend of ryes... Probably some MGP, probably some of their own juice, probably some other source, it is what it is. Okay, so this is the Midwinters. This is far more traditional rye. This is just a different animal. Yeah, oh yeah. That's way more traditional rye more oak influence. This this doesn't have that. This doesn't have all of that oak influence, that oak spice. It's just the grains and the port playing together. Old Scout. Hmm, that's weird. I remember the Old Scout being more fruity than it's presenting right this moment. These are far more traditional rye, oak influence, big caramels, big vanillas from the oak. This doesn't have that. This is letting the, the grains sing with that port as like a, <laughs> a duo. Wow. I I love this old scout. I could drink this all day. I could I could just drink this all day. But it doesn't it's not wildly different. It doesn't stand out. It doesn't jump out at you and be like this is unique, one of a kind. This does. This is such a unique different profile that I'd love to have two or three more of these because, man, there's going to be none. 
300 bottles total. And I got, I got this one. I got one. What the hell? How the hell? I'll tell you how the hell. Thanks to my buddy Kevin Tiber. He's the one that kind of introduced me to Wollersham and put my information to them and they sent me this bottle for me to try. And I am shocked. I'm shocked by it. I never expected it to smell or taste like this. I didn't. I, I didn't know what they were sending me, first off. And when I got it and read the bottle, I was like, oh, that's weird. That's really strange. And then I crack it and I'm like, what the hell? It's, it's really an experience whiskey. If you're anywhere near Wisconsin in the next two days, because I'm sure these things are, it's gonna sell out tomorrow. It's gonna sell out tomorrow and be gone. If you can get your hands on this, I would 1000% do it. I don't even know what these go for. I don't know what they're selling them for at the at the distillery. I'd pay. No clue, I have no idea what this costs. I would, based on the rarity and how interesting and complex and different it is, I would probably pay north of $200 for this bottle if I had to give it a value. I would easily pay over $200 for this because it's so unique. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. And I hope you're drinking craft whiskey. These guys are out here putting in work. They're doing different stuff. They're not just doing the same year after year. They're trying stuff. You know, this was an experiment that they started six, oh, you know, six and a half years ago, almost. You know, shoot, that's the thing about whiskey, it's wild. You, you lay down some stocks in a barrel, you have no idea how it's going to turn out. And six and a half years later, you're, you either have a, <laughs> a big old turd or you have something really cool to share. And I'm really happy for these guys because they've got something cool to share. Cheers.